Hello, my wonderful art students. Hopefully, by now you have been able to play around with the Canvas app. Um, what I would like you to do now is to create a digital portrait, digital self-portrait. And we're going to be using a selfie that we're going to be taking with your camera. So before we can begin, you need to take a selfie with the camera on your computer. After you do that, you come to the Canvas app and we are going to click on New From Image. And that will open up the pictures that you have taken. I chose, I, I already played around with it and I did a couple of them and I chose this one for our demonstration. So you click on it, you click open and it should pull it up in the Canvas app. Now I have already played around with it and I am not going to show you in real time what I did, but I will show you all of the layers that I created and I will do my best to walk you through what you're going to be doing. For the assignment, I need you to complete the following. You need to have an outline created around your image you need to give color to the skin. You need to give color to the hair. You need to give color to your clothes. And you need to create a background using three different colors. And these colors need to be blended. So you, if you don't remember how to blend, go back to the assignment and watch the video on blending colors in Canvas. And um, each of these things that I require from you is going to be done in a different layer. This button over here is the layers button. As you can see, I already have layers made over here. And I will walk you through the steps of how you will create these layers. The reason why you can't see them is because I, you, you are able to turn them off by clicking on the eye here. The only one you can't turn, well, you cannot turn off this one as well. So this is uh, the, this is what we're going to be building our drawing off of. And so in the end, we're not gonna need it because you were gonna have your drawing on top. And this is the order. The first thing you will do is create the outline layer. So you, it, there will be a layer for you already there. And it's going to look, I already did it, and so what I did is I chose the inking tool and remember that we changed the opacity here from most opaque, least opaque. And then I chose the color black. And um, here you, your palette has all these colors, but if you wanna be more specific, you can play around with the custom colors and always try to focus on the color right there when you're trying to pick a color because if you focus on the color here in the wheel on top of the palette, you don't, you don't get a clear sense of what the color is. So I tried to just look at up here. So I chose the black for the outline and I chose the thinnest possible um, width for the tip. And so this is what it looks like. Since I'm not gonna do it right now, I'm just going to unclick the eye. So. That's the first step, step that I did, outline. The second step that I would like you to do is to create a background. The background will be the three colors. It could be three cool colors, three warm colors, three values of the same color, which is what I did. I, did, I, went, I chose the blue and the values are from dark to light and I chose what I did is I just grabbed the palette here and I chose these ones. This was my darkest and then the lightest, I custom made it um, like this. I went here and I scrolled down and I made a real light and then I used the opacity with each color to blend from one another. If you don't, if you don't remember how to do that, like I said, go back to the previous video. After you do your background, um, and the background is going to be the last, well, the layer next to the last, your 
outline is going to be up here the, it, it, on the top. That way, whatever you do back here is going to be behind your drawings. So now the next step, what I want you to do is to create the base color of your skin. And so for this, I would like you to hide the background so that we can see the skin color over here. And you're going to just pick a solid color. This is the color that I picked. Anything that's underneath, so this week we're gonna keep on seeing the outline because the next layer that we did, we keep it underneath so that the outline is always on top. I just picked a color, I custom made it, I outlined all of the area that had skin and it's as simple as that. The next layer that you're going to create, create layers by clicking on the plus right there, is the layer that's going to give a little bit more depth. Now for your project, I am not, you can leave it flat, your skin color. Uh, it, if you want to add eye color and the eye, the color, the white of the eye, and if you want to go with more detail like this, you can. Let me, let me explain to you the easiest way for you to know where to put the lights and where to put the darks. Uh, I will click on the eye here to get rid of that solid layer so that I can see the, the picture. I'm gonna, I'm gonna undo it. I can see all the darks, all the, um, the pinks, the cheeks look pinker, this part over here that's underneath the face looks darker. So what I did is I was I I took the opa the opacity down because if I keep it too high it's it's very solid and I want it to be see-through. I just want it to have like a very bare tint to it. And in the palette since it looks like it's a, an orangey pinkish color, I came to this part over here. Sorry about the picture. This part over here, and I kind of, I, I, I was looking at this at the same time that I was looking at the skin color. So the, I, I kind of just went by, I I did, I eyeballed it out. So um, this, is, this is the layer where you're going to be doing the details of what the skin, the highlights and the lowlights and the whites of the eye and the whites of the teeth. Don't make your teeth too obvious because if you make them too obvious and you do the lines, the black lines for each teeth, it'll just look cart like real bad. Notice what I did right now. If you want to go soup with details that are very small, what you need to do is take your two fingers and um, open them up so that you are uh, pinching wide and pinching small because this is the only way that you're going to be able to actually get to the really small parts and if you want to be able to see if it's looking good or not don't be afraid to be turning on and off the layers that you have already done so I think this is good enough it's not quite as finished as I, I would like it but for this assignment I think it's good enough like I said I am not expecting you to do these details. As long as you do um, the eye color, the mouth color, we're good. After we, we're done with the skin, we're gonna create another layer and it's going to be the hair. In this case, I wanted my hair to be way different than the color that I have, so I did it pinkish. And you can do your hair color whatever color you want or you can keep it the color of your hair as is right now after the hair do another the next layer and this layer is the shirt layer so first I did the color of the shirt and I wanted it to keep it white and then I wanted to give it some details so I added uh, polka dots and I uh, I played around with the with the the textures of the shirt and I added highlights to the hair when I had it and then I, I thought to myself okay I think it's good enough and so now we're ready to bring back the background and this is what your final picture looks like 
when you're done with your picture, I need you to come up to this three dots over here and click Save as Image. After you have saved it as an image, then I need you to upload that image to your Canvas assignment.